Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my investing videos. My name is Mark and in this video I am cashing out on my calendar call spread that I bought uh, on Twitter back about a couple weeks ago and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video and so let me go ahead and go through the transaction from the very beginning so that would have been on December the 26th so let me go ahead and put that in there I'll go a day before 2018 this would officially be the last trade of the year and so there it is right there there's the call that I bought I bought a $28 call on Twitter for the price of nine dollars and thirty cents nine hundred and thirty seven dollars and then I began selling weekly calls this big number you see here is me putting in my contribution to my Roth I actually found out they raised the limit up another five hundred dollars so that's why you see that extra five hundred dollars right there I fully believe in the Roth IRA having tax advantage accounts so I don't have to pay taxes uh, but I can talk about that in another video maybe but anyways so I spent the nine hundred thirty seven dollars and then that was a twenty eight dollar call on Twitter and then I began selling weekly calls so here I sold a twenty eight dollar and fifty cent call and got forty seven dollars twenty nine cents bought it back for five dollars and then I sold another twenty eight dollar and fifty cent call took in ninety dollars and then Twitter started going up like gangbusters which I'll show you in a minute and here I did a roll up so I bought back the twenty eight dollar and fifty cent call that I sold and then I sold to open a another twenty nine dollar call so that is rolling it up because Twitter started going up and that was a week later so I bought it back for 106 and then I sold the 29 for 108 that is how you do it when you want to roll up calls or roll down puts you always want to buy it back and then sell another one at a credit unless you like taking risk if you like taking risk then you can sell higher strike prices me I don't like taking risk so I like just being safe and sound and just rolling up at a credit and this you can ignore that's me putting my money into my Roth and here's where I cashed out the whole thing and the whole reason that I cashed out, and I want to say thank you to the person who alerted me to this. I did another video before this one where I went over my returns for the year of 2018. And I absentmindedly uh, put my number in the video. So I had to delete the video and I closed my account and I opened a brand new account. So I got a whole new different account. So no more risk of getting hacked. And again, thank you to the person who alerted me to this. And so that's why I went through all this and that's also why that my, I'm a little bit slow on the videos here but when you add up all the numbers here okay the uh, the call that I bought for 937 and then I closed it for a thousand eighty seven so when you add up all these numbers the red numbers and the green numbers there not counting this one of course not counting that and not counting that but when you add up all these other ones this uh, 937 and the 1087 and then all the weeklies that I bought and sold and bought and sold and you add up this and that and all of this right there I made a grand whopping total of $30 and so that would have been from December the 26th to January the 8th so that'd be in about a two weeks period and I learned something about these diagonal spreads and I'll show you what I learned uh, let me go to Twitter and bring up the option chain now uh, my favorite thing to do to make money with these options is to buy long-term calls or puts which is ma making a bet if I think it's going up I'll buy a call if I think it's going down I'm gonna buy a put and then to sell weeklies but there's a disadvantage now the disadvantage is these are this is the option chains for the calls right there and the puts are over there now let's look at the calls look at these spreads okay the $28 call has a spread of 1120 has a bid of 1120 and ask of 1225 this one has a bid of 1035 and ask of 1125 now if you go shorter like let's say 370 
then you'll notice the bid gets very much less, right? 730 bid, 750 ask. That's way much less, and that's much better as far as a spread. Now, the problem when you have a big spread like this, this is called slippage, and this is the reason that I only made $30. I should have made a lot more money. But when I sold to close, my long call, uh, that $28 call, is kind of like the Hotel California, right? You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. And that's kind of the way these bid ask spreads. You can enter a position, you can buy to open calls, and you'll probably get a good price. But good luck trying to get a good price when you want to get out of the position. And that's what happened to me. I was a victim to the slippage. And so when I sold to close my call here, let me go back to my transactions. Uh, I got out at 1095, and on that day, the bid was like 1080, and the ask was 1160, and that's all based on the memory there. And so I really got ripped off on the spread. I should have made more like 60 or 70 dollars, but I only made 30. And the reason why I closed all this out was because of my mistake that I made in another video where I did my returns for the year of 2018. I had a really good year. I, I made a 17% return. I made almost $4,000. But the problem is that when I did video on that, it had my number in there. And, and again, I had to close my account because obviously I don't want anybody knowing my number and, you know, calling Ameritrade, please enter your nine digit number, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, my money has big, big whopping withdrawals, you know. And it's unfortunate that we have to live in a world full of passwords and security codes and the reason why we have to live in this world with antivirus programs and all of this security resources is because there's lots of dishonest people in the world and if you think about it if we lived in a world full of honest people we wouldn't need passwords and usernames and, all, and IDs and all that stuff but because the world is full of dishonest people and I hate to say it I think most people given half a chance would take advantage of, of their brother or their sister you know we have to have security codes and stuff and that's unfortunate but it is what it is and so again I had to and that's what I've been doing the last week uh, but putting all that aside I did make $30 on my account and uh, you see this is up to 3268 so and that's because of the $500 that I deposited which I'm going to max out in my Roth IRA and just for kicks and grins this is my new Roth IRA can't see the number and when the five hundred dollars goes in there I'm gonna be up to thirty four grand so I'm slowly working my way up to hopefully having becoming a millionaire someday and if you've been watching my videos you know that within a year or even two years ago I only had about $13,000 in here, so a combination of savings and the returns that I've been getting is slowly building my account up. And so, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, again, uh, got out of my calendar call spread on Twitter, and I made a whopping $30. And the reason for that $30 for the low return. Actually, it's not that bad. I mean, $30 is a 1% return in a couple of weeks. I guess I should be happy about that, right? But I'm really not. It's because of the slippage between the bid and the ask. And uh, I'm still, I still favor this strategy of buying calls and puts and selling weeklies. I think it's the safest. But as far as like the high return, I think there are probably other things that I could do to make even more return. Uh, I, I certainly like the SPY. Uh, the SPY uh, really is a phenomenal opportunity to make money. There's big money to be made. I mean, the SPY here, the last trade is 258.98. And look at these, okay? I mean, when you can, that's actually two days. If you go four days out, I mean, we're talking a $260 call and you're getting 100 bucks for that? Are you kidding me? That's really high, you know? So the big money is in the SPY, but I feel, for me personally, I need a little bit more experience with calls and puts before I go jumping into a big thing like that. And I already tried it once in my Roth, and I made some money, but the day before I cashed out, I can even show you that real quick. Uh, if I go to 
my my uh, raw actually I'd have to go to my old raw I don't even know if the records would be there anymore so I'm just not gonna worry about it so maybe I can uh, tackle that in another video or something I did a strangle on the spy I bought two calls two puts and I made about $150 but the day before I was down in the red $1,100 I thought I was gonna have an ulcer and the next day when the market rebounded and I saw that I was up $150 I got out and I said forget this uh, so anyways options are fun I think anybody can do it it does not take a lot of money you don't have to be a rocket science genius and you can get good returns you know better returns than you could than you could get just investing in the market so thank you for watching this video as always if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave in a comment and again thank you to the person who alerted me of that problem that I had in that other video and uh, it's unfortunate I had to delete the video and go through all this headache and slow me down in, in my progress on the YouTube videos and also on just me on investing and right now I am all cash I'm not doing anything until I get that final five hundred dollars in my Roth but uh you know uh, stay tuned keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on things for me and I'll see you in the next video thank you and have a good day